some big bear again on the Skyline Trail and we're doing a different section. We came in on this road, I want to say it's 2N08 and we're going to start here. Good morning everyone. came out on 2 and 10 and you got to turn right to find the trail over here oh. this hike is super pretty lots of boulders nice forest trail. Probably my favorite type of hiking is in the forest with the trees. Look at another fern grove as far as you can see. Quite a few manzanitas out here. Look at the bark. Such pretty red, reddish brown. to the top of Skyline. We can see the mountains out there in the distance. We finally saw somebody out here. There's a couple from Arizona visiting Big Bear. And I had just been saying we're out here alone because we haven't seen anybody for three and a half miles. Not even bikes today. Just FYI, this is a shared trail with bikes. Um, the best time to hike up here is during the week because there's less bikes and also early because there's less bikes. And also if it's summertime, it's obviously cooler. Today, we got up here about a quarter to seven because it's gonna be cooler. Today, it's July. We've been hiking in 66. Just went up to 72, but there's a nice cool breeze up here. Super, super nice hiking weather right now. came from there to so many wide open spaces and we've made it to the top where you can see 
San Gregonio, San Bernardino Peak, beautiful. We've reached Clark's grade, which is going to take us to the plantation trail. But we want to do a couple more miles. We've only done 4.4 and back to the car is 0.9, so that's not enough. We drive at least an hour to get here, so we want to do a little bit more than that. So we're going to look at the maps. mentioned from Clark's grade back to the car was a mile we've just discussed taking a side trail and so that's what we're gonna do so we can add a couple more miles hopefully or at least a mile and a half we'll see anyone need firewood I don't know if you can come get it, but it's here. So we decided to take this trail to add a couple more miles. So we turned right on the Metcalf Meadow Trail. It's supposed to be one mile, and that's going to take us back to two and 10, which will take back to two and a wait, back to the car. We'd only done five and a half, and like I said before, five and a half just isn't long enough, and the weather is cooperating today. It says it's 75 right now, but there's still a cool breeze. Okay, we were here the other day when we did the Pine Knot Trail, and we had gone past our turn to get on the trick-or-treat, and we ended up here before we realized we were going the wrong way. So, here we are again on a different day in the same place by accident. This is a pretty trail though. So if you wanted to add to your hike, you could take this up. Like I said, it's not marked, it's a trick-or-treat trail and it takes you up to two and a two and ten and then you can go from there. I'm going to post the link to the bike trails that I used to map this hike and you can check that out. So per all trails, there's a trail here that it looks like it's not been used much. There's um, down trees, looks like they blocked it off here. This is the trick or treat and it's just a short piece. So we're going to cut across here and get back to two and 10 down there. All right, here's two and 10. And we're gonna take it to the left. Okay, fair warning. So when you get on the 2 and 10 to get back to the car, you gotta come up this nice, long yeah, road. 
and then it levels out up there at the top. So there's little pockets of campsites that you can camp at here that you can drive into and park and you can have campfires right there because they're right off the road. There's nobody here but this looks like another spot where you could park a car in here and then pitch some tents. There's quite a few nice spots. We've made it back to the Boulder Group Campground Cutoff. Again, this is, oops, sorry about that. 2N10B. I called it 2N08, it's 2N10B.